Hey, it's Mike here. So I have been doing some back-to-back -back looks at webcams, just cameras basically for web meetings. And I just recently recorded my thoughts on the Lumina. Not a bad webcam, but I do believe, and I'm seeing this back-to-back, -back, that the Opal Tadpole which is what I am recording on right now. This is their new smallest webcam series. I like the color straight out of it already. It doesn't really need much calibration at all. It feels like the people that did the color science behind this did some color grading and made it look cool. Is it accurate the way it comes out looking at the composer? Probably not, but it just looks cool as heck. Like I couldn't... If I went out and I purchased a color, what do you call those, color filter or something, and I want to look hip and up-to-date and cool, the Tadpole already has that built in. All right, so what is the Tadpole? It's the smallest webcam that they've ever built. It's apparently got a category first directional microphone, a mirrorless Sony sensor, and now the audio is directly from the Opal C1 Composer. I'm in a relatively quiet environment, so this gives you an idea of what it sounds like. Now the reason why I'm suddenly jumping into this is I somehow lost the last 60-75% of the recording. I think Camtasia crash or something, I'm not sure. It has something to do potentially with the Composer software interface with my Camtasia link. And when I choose the Composer as the source webcam, it actually fails. So this is actually through the Composer now. All right, where was I going with this? I think I was talking about the image quality and with a mirrorless, a Sony mirrorless sensor, which is something that is used by most cameras nowadays, it's clear to me that the quality is very good. Now, it's probably not going to beat the ones that have the bigger sensors, the one-inch sensors. But then again, this is a webcam, and this is really tiny. And it's meant to travel with you and immediately improve the quality of the videos coming out from your portable device. Again, this is the Tadpole, not their C1. So I have not tested the C1 yet. I'm not sure. Maybe one day I will try it out and give a comparison. But I feel like this fits my needs the best because of how portable it is. A lot of times I have other webcams to choose from and I just simply choose not to do it. I just use the built-in webcam. So I think if you're that type of person, this one makes sense for you, particularly at the new price of $129.99. There's a little bit more details about the way that it is uniquely designed for laptop. It fits over that little island on my MacBook perfectly and doesn't feel like it's damaging anything either. And the cord is just long enough, which makes it less messy than when I use other webcams. Because most of the webcams, they want to have not just one size fits all, but they give you like a six footer. And you don't really need a six footer for a portable webcam designed to use for a laptop. So it's all integrated, it's all built in. They have a case that is sold separately. That's probably something that you may want to consider. I see that on mine, I really have a little nick on the side for whatever reason. I'm not even sure how it got there, but probably just from being put in my gadget accessory bag without any protective cover on it. Now, the quality. Again, I really like the color science and the lookup tables that are already integrated in here. I, it's the one that I had to mess with the absolute least out of all the webcams that I've tested. It just seems to work well out of the box. Now, one mistake that I might have done is that right on the side, integrated in the cable, is a mute switch. I think maybe, potentially, I was touching it as I was recording this, and maybe that affected the recording. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to try it right now, but it is nice that you have a little mute thing on the side that you can immediately press and just mute yourself when you're in a call and have visual confirmation that is there. I think that's a nice innovation that is already well integrated into it and it's not something you have to pay for separately because they do sell products like that allow you to visually see whether or not you are muted. 
And there's nothing worse than having some huge loud noise when you're working from home and you don't want to disrupt the meeting with it. Just keep yourself on mute most of the time. It's really nice to have that already built in. So there's a lot of thoughtful features in here. And I think it's it's for partly those reasons that I give it a pretty good recommend. I'm not affiliated with them. This is not a sponsored post. These are just my th first thoughts on trying out the Opal Tadpole. If you are interested in it, though, I have a link down below. Again, not affiliated, nothing. I don't get any kickback, at least at the point that I'm recording this. Who knows? Maybe in the future, maybe I will sign up if they have an affiliate program. But in order for me to consider doing that, I'm definitely going to do some more tests and some more use cases with the Opal. Let me know what you think down below. Give this a like, subscribe for more. Catch you next one. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.